Disaster can strike at any time, as many Minnesotans know. From tornadoes to flooding, emergency management officials stay busy year-round. News 12's Mallory Peebles shows us a new system they're starting up that they hope will save lives, time, and money. When an emergency happens, officials say it's tough to keep track of the helping hands on the scene. You don't have the time when an event happens to do this. This all has to be done beforehand. A new high-tech identification card system will help them do just that. Today, emergency management officials from Lesseur, Rice, Nicollet, and Blue Earth County were testing out the new card-making machine that they bought with money from a Homeland Security grant. Each card will be color-coded by department, everything from fire departments to city officials like the mayor. All the first responders would come with a tag like this, and we have a machine that we scan it, and we know exactly who they are. And the card can be used for more than just tracking. They can encrypt inside this barcode important information, like an emergency contact or someone's blood type. It's a safety concern more than anything that we have the correct people at the scene. The cards aren't limited to city personnel. Volunteers can be made rapid cards on the scene just by swiping their Minnesota driver's license. Officials say issuing the card will help save money. One way is by cutting back paperwork. Right now, at the end of every event, they have to write up an action report where they account for each person on the scene and how many hours were logged. Sometimes that takes days to do. Now that cards can be printed, they just need to collect the data. As soon as we get this uh, on the road here, we're going to be getting our uh, forms out to our firefighters and to our other uh, public services and get the information back to us so we can start getting on our cards. They hope to have the system completely up and running by the end of the year. Mallory Peebles, News 12. In total, 16 counties in southern Minnesota received that grant to start the new card identification system. Lesore County officials say a similar identification system is already being used in the metro area and other regions of the state.